All righty. Um, I, th- I, I realize that uh, dinner was running a little late, but I think uh, most people who want to be here are here. Um, I can't really increase the font size because um, uh, I need this much space, so please uh, feel free. There are lots of seats at the front. I'm not going to embarrass anybody sitting in the front row. Um, <laughs> So it's, you, you'll be quite safe to do that. Uh, I'm John Scholes with um, Dialogue Limited, and I, uh, my continuing passion is uh, the functional programming paradigm and declarative programming styles. Um, and that's what I'm going to be uh, showing you. To, do you Oh, it says it's the Acme Selective Memory Zapper. (laughs) And it's set to APL. And it's just removed anything you ever knew about APL. (laughs) I'm I'm so sorry. (laughs) I am so sorry. What that, uh, a room full of APL professionals, that's very bad news. what can I do? Um, oh, oh, t- oh. <laughs> My name's John Scholes. Uh, well, I, I can sort of repair the, da- the damage a little bit. Uh, what, uh, most of us, including me, when we came to APL, I think... I have a feeling, and I could, be the, this, I could be the only person in this room that thinks this, in which case this will be a complete waste of time. But I think from hearing people talk about their programs, it may not be the case. When I learned APL and when I taught APL, I both picked up and dispensed some, I think, unfortunate mental formations. Um, and I'll show you the kind of thing that... Uh, I picked up. Here's an APL. Um, uh, so what I'm going to say here is uh, uh, I'm, go- I'm going to type on this. It's not a it's not a slick demo. So here's an here's an example. Um, I'm going to generate uh, tw- uh, I'm going to generate twelve numbers with the index no- um, uh, generator, and I'm going to assign them to vec, and then I'm going to Add one to that array, and I'm going to it's going to be a long evening, (laughs) and I'm going to reverse the array. Um, And what I've done here is to talk about generating things, assigning things to variables. Um, reversing arrays. And these are all um, transitive verbs I'm using. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to go through a little example. Some of you will have seen it before. Many of you will have seen it before, but unfortunately I just wiped that by (laughs) accident. I'm just going to go... There's a little example where you can make a a Sudoku solver in APL... Um, just by building up expressions. No assignments, no states, nothing is remembered. Um, but what I'd, what I'd like you to do is to remember, try to concentrate on the terms that I use to describe what I'm doing as I do them. So I'm not going to generate anything. I'm not going to assign anything to a name. I'm not going to reverse anything. Um, so all I'm going to do is make some definitions. So, so I've scrolled that off the screen. <laughs> so you won't remember that now. So listen to what I'm saying. The indices of a three vector. No moving parts. I didn't generate anything. I didn't make anything. The indices of a three vector. 
And what we see here are two expressions. This expression is the same as this expression. They're equivalent. <coughs> uh, one is a reduced form of the other. A function for the indices of omega to the power 2, where omega is 3. It, now's the last chance. If you can't see the font, it's not going to get any bigger. So <laughs> if, you, if you want to come to the front... the three-row, three-column reshape of those numbers. The three-row item replication of each of those numbers. Each row item is replicated. This won't take long. It's, uh, bear with it. If you've seen it, well, you can't remember if you've seen it before or not. <laughs> the three-column item replication of those numbers. And hey, look, if there are any Sudoku people around, they'll recognize this as the little box numbers for a 9 by 9 Sudoku problem. So that's a handy function. <laughs> I'll give it a name. I'll just name it. And, and really, the only reason I'm doing that is it saves me doing all this typing if, if I ever wanted to uh, refer to it again. But... This is the same as this. This is that. Okay, so, so far nothing's moved. No moving parts. I've just made a definition. So now I can just apply that. That's those, those two things are the same. Box of three. And we'll start with a slightly smaller puzzle a 4 by 4 puzzle, and there are the box numbers for a 4 by 4 puzzle. In parentheses, um, this won't take long because I'm hoping to make a YouTube video of this. Uh, it'll be quicker than this because I won't have to... to um, uh, I, it'll be slicker. So it, the, the condensed version of this takes only 10 minutes. <laughs> The indices of an omega array where omega is 4 by 4. This gives us a, a, an array of pairs of row and column indices for an array of shape omega. It doesn't give us, sorry, I made a mistake. It is <laughs> an array, uh, a 4 by 4 array of row column pairs. Join each with our box numbers is an array of row, column, box, triples. So each of each in each cell is, is marked its row number, its column number, and its box number. So there's a handy thing. Let's name that. I'm not assigning anything to anything, I'm just naming something. I'm not in particular, I'm not shoveling a whole bunch of stuff into a pigeonhole or something. I'm just saying that's, that name's this. And, and a joke I never tire of, no, everybody else is fed up with this, is if you look very closely at this symbol, you can't quite see it in this font, it's a pointer, it's a finger, like this. So RCB names points to this value. It, that's the same, same thing. Yeah. So that's a, that's a function a row column box function. So RCB of 4, 4, check it out, is the same thing. Now, let's see what happens if uh, the uh, omega, the RCB 4, compared item-wise with a cell containing 2, 2, 1. You don't know this, this is going to come as a trauma to you, but you used to be APL programmers, <laughs> and you would have understood this at one point, but now you're just very bright people. So just telling you this, you, you can figure out what, what's happening. 
Um, this is a uh, cell, cell, containing this number, and this is an itemized comparison. So what I can see here, here's a cell with 221 in it, and this matches on all items. These guys match if it's on the same row. These middle ones match if it's in the same column, and the end ones match if it's in the same box. And so the contention, the Sudoku contention, is if there's a one, is a member of each of these, shows us the contention mask, it is the contention mask for the cell containing 221. So what it's saying is, for this, this covers these guys and these guys and anything in this box. Has anybody ever done a Sudoku puzzle? Okay, so I'm, yeah, that would have been a bad, you've forgotten, <laughs> maybe. No, I didn't have it on that setting, it was, uh, uh, all right. It, it, it only occurred to me later that here I am a man in black. Does that... <laughs> Now, let, so let's try now something more advanced. This is the outer product of omega with itself. And this gives us a whole bunch of stuff. In fact, the shape of this is 4 by 4 by 4 by 4. It's a, it's a rank 4 array. So it would be more convenient for me to enclose the first two axes and then, what I have here is a complete contention map for a 4x4 four four Sudoku puzzle. And this expression equals this. This is one way of expressing it, and this is another way of expressing it. Nothing has moved. I haven't updated anything. What you'll notice is that I don't say, first I do this, then I do this, then I do this. I'm just, this, this is, these definitions. I could easily have typed, I couldn't have tested them, but I could have typed these in in any order, these definitions. So here is a little 4x4 four four Sudoku puzzle that I made earlier. The, 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 the very bright people could probably solve that by just looking at it. But, uh, for instance, I think I can put a... I can probably put a 4 here, can't I? And I can probably put a 3 here. There's various... Uh, so there's two little 2 by 2 boxes. Um, so what I'm going to do here is... So the, the shape of this is 4 by 4. The C map of the RCB of the shape of that... Oops. I didn't make a name for this. <laughs> so, given a small uh, S44... Um, this given a puzzle, there's, given that puzzle, that was the uh, contention map for it. If I take one of these third row, second column, then in th this language called APL, if I refer to alpha, that, that addresses the left argument here, and I can extract the cell from the map, the, the, from the whole map, I just extract the three row, two column cell. And of course, if I want to uncell it, that just, it, that just opens, exposes the cell. Now this mask, here's the S44 at the top. If I... Sorry? Which, which was a verb? I pol oh, sorry, yes it is. Th that's right, it's not... Yes, I, yes, I, thank you. Forget, I did you... Yes, please uh, jump on me. So this is the, um, this is the uncell of, the, of that uh, cell. It's the disclose. It's, it's the disclose of the cell. Thank you. 
I find it really hard to you know, live up to this, uh, but it, it's a good discipline. So if, if you, can, you can see S44, so what's going to happen if I multiply omega by this cell? Uh, here's S44. Um, anything that's, uh, it's going to zap, sorry, it is the zap of, um, it is the, um, this is the, uh, the numbers w uh, without the numbers in contention. It's a matrix without any contention. Or oh, sorry, sorry, it is the numbers that are in contention with the, uh, the one at, this is the numbers that are in contention with a cell at 3, 2. So this number and this number are in contention, but this and this aren't. So the, the obvious of that, the, the, the numbers that are available to put in that cell is, are all of the numbers except for the ones that are in contention. And all of the numbers are all of the numbers uh, let's just say the, all but the first of the shape. The shape is 4, 4 as we know. But uh, if I if I just take, we could take either of these fours. Where's a four four? Four four. We could take either. We'll, we'll choose to take the last. It doesn't matter. So these are the numbers that are available. If I look at 1, 1, uh, 1, 2, and 4 are available for putting at 1, 1. I hope. <laughs> I can't put 3 there, but I could put 1, 2, or 4 in here. Yeah, there's, there's some moaning. I did, I'm going to give you another zap. You've <laughs> so, somebody's remembering something called quad IO. And in parentheses... The reason this is running in quad IO one, index origin one is that it's a tutorial on tri-APL and if we change the origin to zero in tri-APL and people get bored halfway through, that's bad news. It, uh, things, so that's, that's one of the reasons for doing that. It also, I, I, when I was feeling brave, I thought I'd ask for a show of hands who wants zero, this demo, and who wants one. And when I tried it in zero, it was uh, slightly... Uh, it, 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 I had to do a bit more adding and subtracting ones in this example. Anyway, end of parentheses. <laughs> okay, so this is language called API. Now, um, here's an interesting thing. This, as an aside, let me just... Have on. Yes, here's an aside. Um, if I have a function... Um, this is just uh, this ju just joins the um, left argument and the, this is the join of the left argument and the right nearly used a transitive verb uh, of the left and right argument and in APL this language I'm showing you called APL you can have an inner parameter as well and I refer to that as alpha 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 you've used other languages so you know what um, parameters are so this is just, um, this refer, the, the, the parentheses here, this refers to the outer left parameter, this refers to the outer right parameter, and this refers to the inner left parameter. So one of the things I could do, for example, is to say the alpha alpha take of alpha would be the 3-2 take of alpha. Or I could do the negative alpha-alpha take, which would do that. Or, and I can do the rho omega take of that. And if I do the sum of omega and that, This is a merge. I don't have 
in this language called APL, I don't have a merge, primitive merge operator. But what this, this is, is the merge of this value with this, this array with this array at this position. It's the merge. Merge is a noun. So, <laughs> the merge. I'm going to call that at. And so I could say, for instance, ni I could say 99. I could say if I could type at. So this is a 99, 1, 1 in S44. It's nearly domain-specific kind of stuff. <clears throat> now, if you remember, we had... The available slots at 1, 1 in S44 is a vector. So alpha at each of the cell S uh, uh, omega is the each distributes the function between the items of the left array and because it's a cell, the single item of the right array in this language. So here is a placement vector. I didn't put anything anywhere. I didn't update. I didn't modify. I didn't do anything. This is a placement vector for the numbers 1, 2, 4 at position 1, 1 in S44. It's a, it's a placement vector. So I'm going to call that PVEC. So far, nothing has moved. And we're nearly there. 1, 1, P, Vec, S, 44. Yeah, so it's just, it's just easy. And then what I'm going to do is to say, let's do the 2, 2, bound with P, Vec, each, to each of those. And in the, these are all the one ones. For each of these, I'm putting, placing something in a 2, 2 position, a 3 and a 4. In the 2 slot, a 3 and a 4. And in the 4 slot, only a, a 4. Did I use a transitive verb there? These are the, this is the, in fact, this is a sort of ring of placements. I did the middle placement, and then I did a ring of other placements. And one of the things I can do, if I just want to vectorize those, that's a join. I've so vectorized is a horrible verb. The join of those is another vector. So now I can let, let me go a bit further. I can say the join, and the join is sort of so small. I won't bother to name it, but I could uh, join of uh, two one jot p vec each of that. Um, has put things at the. Uh, sorry, is a, is a ring, is a ring of placements at 2-4. Uh, at and wh what I've noticed here is this is nearly regular. This, I, I, what I'd like to do is abstract this idea, um, but I sort of come to a stop. This is a bit ragged at the end. But I can make it unragged by... Um, let, well, let's actually do this. I can bind this, do the join... I can apply it to each member of the cell, single cell, S44. And I get the same, I, it's the same expression. I haven't changed anything. It's a transformation. So now I can make another definition. Let's call it a ring. To just abstract this idea. which allows me to simplify this expression and it's the same expression, it gets the same result and hey, I can, this language, I can make that e even that simpler by 
unselling the ring reduction of the unsell of I can find the yes I can the unsell of the ring reduction and now all I have to do to solve it is to find the to find the solution not to solve I should have electric electrodes that fire every time I use a transitive verb. So, so where's, a, where, where's another coordinate that's got a zero in it? Anybody, anyone will do. What's one that's got a zero? Uh, sorry? One four. One, f- one four. And so on. So I could find a vector of solutions by doing this process manually, but let's, let's do it automatically. So what I want here is a, a vector... <coughs> of the empty cells. So here's S44. The shape is this. The indices are that, and a vector of that shape is this. So those are those are that's a vector of the row column indices of S44. Another thing I'm interested in where this is equal, where this is equal to zero, and there's ones here where S44 <coughs> is zero, and a vector of those is handy. So the vector of empties is this. This is a vector of the coordinates of the empty cells. So that's a handy thing. Let's call this empt. So now I can have a function Now I've left a little gap here. <coughs> um uh, another way of expressing this, this is this is a five item vector and another way of expressing this is a four item vector together with a cell on the end and this vector I can replace with so this is a vector of solutions for this Sudoku problem. Um, it's a vector, and, and most, most published Sudoku problems have one, um, uh, have one solution. So uh, let's, le- let's call this SVEC, the solution vector. And typically we're interested in the first solution. Now, the, the, one of the problems with this is it's not very, this is the, this is, all we've done so far is make some definitions. Um, so this is, a, th- nothing's moved, there's no state, there's no temporary variable, no variables, nothing is varied. There's no transitive uh, things. But there is a problem with it, and here's the problem. This SVEC calls uh, ring reduction, which applies ring a number of times, and ring calls PVEC each, which calls PVEC a number of times. It is. It is. Okay, it it is. That's an interesting point. How do we say that? It refers to. Okay, it it, it reduces. It reduces, yeah. Sorry? It uses, yes. Okay, it uses. And PVEC uses AVL, and AVL computes this contention map every time and that's quite wasteful uh, because it doesn't change well, <laughs> <laughs> okay okay and that's a ver- and that is a very good yeah yeah yes jo- what john is saying is that if it doesn't compute it if c- it's nothing's being computed it's just being ised it's being defined then why do you care and I think in some 
uh, clever compilers, clever languages would spot that uh, as a constant and, and do the work for me that I have to do. And the reason I found this out is when I tried this in TriAPL, it has a strict time limit for um, uh, execution of expressions. And uh, <coughs> as stated, as defined, this was an inefficient expression of the algorithm. But I can soon fix this. What I'd like to do is, again, use this inner parameter idea. Um, what I'm going to do is pass this expression as an inner parameter alpha alpha uh, by whoever, whoever uses AVL, which is this guy. And he's going to get it as alpha alpha from whoever. He's just going to pass it through, refer to it. And he gets this guy called PVEC. And he, ring, is going to So what I'd like to do is just check that still works. Still gives the same answer. And now I'm in a position, here's a fully paid up S99. So uh, this is a 9 by 9 is traditional uh, Sudoku puzzle. Oh, uh, what did I do? Sorry? Where did I do that? Uh. Oh, yeah, sorry, box two, yeah. Okay, I should have come back to that. In, uh, sorry, in which one? Oh, boxer. Yes, sorry, that was on my screen. Yes, in general, um, this was that b two was the square root of the puzzle size. So in general, I want the first item of omega to the power of a half, and then that's general for. Um, okay, so that's that's the uh, thing. All right. So, so no. Well, I'd uh, I'd like to take credit for this, but it, I actually stole this algorithm for, uh, from Arthur Whitney, and in K he does it in about this much K. Um, so this is, uh, but this is a building up. Now there's a there's a little encore for this. Um, uh, it being APL. So here's the defs we have so far. Um, being APL, it's quite easy to generalize APL programs to problems of a higher rank. So what I have here is a 3x3x3 a three by three by three Sudoku pro problem. <laughs> and uh, there are various ways of... Um, you have to change the rules a bit uh, when you go to a, <laughs> to a higher rank Sudoku. There are, there are various um, manifestations of higher rank Sudoku. The, the one that I've chosen is the rules are that... Um, uh, numbers have to be unique in any of the uh, X, Y, and Z planes. Okay, so you can only... So we, in this case, we would put the numbers from 1 to 9 have to be unique in any of the 9 planes? No, how many planes there are? Yeah? So to generalize the definitions... One thing I have to do is this guy. Um, th that was enclosing the first two axes. I have to enclose the first rank axes for a higher rank array. Um, this was the, the total set of numbers um, uh, from which to exclude things. The <coughs> for, a, for a 9 by 9 puzzle, this was the number, this generated the numbers from 1 to 9. Um, but what I want to do now is to say, well, I, I can just do a product of the, if I do the one drop, I can just do the product. I can transitive verbs. So, given a 3 by 3, that will produce iota 9. And 
in this guy, there are no boxes. There is no box uh, stuff going on. It's just the row column uh, X, Y, Z coordinates. So in this one, what I'm going to do is to pass this as a another in a parameter. This will be a parameter. So now I have to say RCB because that's what's needed here. But for S333 we just need iota. So the final thing is just to say uh, S3 is And those are solving uh, the problems. And these are the... So, there's this language called APL um, in which you can very succinctly make definitions to uh, do some quite abstract uh, problem solving. Yeah, any... Okay, so that's the end of... Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. How long did it take you to write this? Oh, uh, okay, yeah, a long time, a long time. Um, I, I stole it from Arthur. It took me a long time to reverse. Well, Phil and Morton reversed, engineered, uh, translated uh, Arthur's version into uh, from K to dialogue. Um, but his version didn't use the... Didn't, wasn't really suitable for displaying intermediate results because it used vectors. The whole, it used an 81-item vector instead of a 9 by 9 And this is a nice... Um, I, I mean, if you can, what I'd like to do, I can type this stuff in, in nine and a half minutes um, if I don't fool around. So that's a nice YouTube slot, um, and we've, I've, uh, with some help, had a couple of goes at doing this. Um, and it's, uh, you know, there's a lot of outtakes and stuff. Um, so I, I think this is a good uh, advertisement for APL. Uh, I think bright people will be able to follow this without prior knowledge, and I think that's a nice... Uh, they can sort of guess what the stuff is doing as it goes along. I imagine this is a lot harder than the live game video, but uh, it, with YouTube you can stop and rewind it and try again and uh, carry on. And if that gets people to go to try APL and uh, do that, then that's a, that's a really good thing. Any any other questions? Yeah. I'm wondering if if an object is caught at two dimensions, does the three dimensional version add? Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. The question was: Is it what? Is it? Do we get any? Is it a good idea to carry on and do the three dimensional thing? Um, is that good bang for your buck, or should it? Should it? Does does it complicate things? And that's. Uh, um, that's that's a case in point. What about a four-dimensional? Well, I don't know the I don't know the answer to that. I don't know if there is a four-dimensional uh, example. Wilmerslow, 324. Turing speaking. Yes, Alan Turing. Yes. Thank you for computing what? Just thank you for computing. 
And, and don't, don't eat which apple? Sorry, do you know what time it is? Do I know what year it is? Well, last time I checked, it was 1954. And, uh, and I'm quite good with numbers. So uh, you're telephoning from 2012. Where is that? Is that overseas somewhere? Who is this? Is this Jenkins from the NPL? Scows? Scows? Scolds! Never heard of you. <laughs> Listen, Jenkins, I'm too tired for this kind of foolery. I've spent most of my afternoon keying in the initial sequence to the experimental machine, and frankly, I'm exhausted. Why don't I just store the sequence in non-volatile memory? Don't be rid... Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> you mean design special circuits to initialize a store? The machine would effectively be, how to put it, hauling itself up by its own bootstraps. <laughs> to be fair, the way we have to do it now is very tedious. This bootstrapping takes a damnably long time. What? Sounds like Windows. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about a computing machine, not Windows. But, but your idea intrigues me. You say you're calling from 2012. You mean the year. Is this something to do with Professor Einstein's space-time continuum? Did he finally... Probably some kind of midware fuck-up at the exchange. <laughs> Somebody keyed in an old version. <laughs> well, I agree there are some wires crossed somewhere. Big time. You say big time, big time. You sure this isn't Professor Einstein? Look, if you really are who you say you are, answer me this. Can computers in 2012 simulate human intelligence? Sorry, dude. Everyone got bored with the whole AI thing in the late 90s. Is that code? And what's this dude? It sounds quite intriguing. Well, yes, I am gay, actually. Uh, I'm very gay, despite the hour. The stored program electronic computer idea has put me in a very jolly mood indeed. I predict that in time, every civilized country in the world will have one. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Somebody's just put an apple through the letterbox. Do you have an accomplice? Are you one of those rough boys from Canal Street? I told you, I'm no longer interested. <laughs> well, I don't know what you're talking about either. Why are you telephoning me and talking about apples and computers? You're phoning from your apple. <laughs> your, your apple is a computer. <laughs> um, how big is this apple? <laughs> 16 gig. What's a gig? <laughs> What's a gigabyte? What's 16 gigabytes? Two to the 33 binary digits? Don't be ridiculous, man. That would take two to the 23, that's eight, over 8 million Williams tubes. End to end, that would stretch from here to Constantinople. <laughs> it fits in your shirt pocket. <laughs> Good grief. And why would anyone need such capacity? The notes program alone takes five... <laughs> five megabytes. My word, what can this notes program do? Shopping lists. 
you use a computing machine for shopping lists. <laughs> Did you construct this device yourself? You bought it in an Apple store. <laughs> and, and tell me more about computers in 2012. They're all connected together. That must be a significant mathematical resource. The Mersen primes could be calculated to... What in God's name is tweeting and Googling? <laughs> never mind, never mind. And, and what else do you use it for? Games. Chess? What in all that is holy are angry birds? <laughs> And is the catapult attached to the device? <laughs> it, it must be very difficult to hold it. What if you drop it? You put a rubber bumper around it in case it falls out of your shirt pocket and down the stairs. You keep a raspberry pi in your other pocket and you think there may be an arm in your washing machine. <laughs> Enough! Let me summarise. The primary use of computing machines in 2012 is to shoot birds with catapults. <laughs> the instructions for a shopping list programme on one of these supercomputers occupies more storage than the entire works of Shakespeare. <laughs> you can buy them in a greengrocer's along with raspberry pies, but you have to put elastic bands round them so you can throw them downstairs. <laughs> The simulation of human intelligence basically didn't get anywhere. <laughs> and people keep severed limbs in their washing machines. <laughs> That's it. Now I don't feel so gay. I'm going to bed. Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat>